when you were fighting addiction, where was was the MTV thing the rock bottom, or were you? Um, did you notice that you were were not like working, or your 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 family? Your what was the situation like around you? The MTV was the rock bottom for me. It was because I loved the experience. Like MTV was great. It gave me like tons of money and friends and all these things. But they they also pressure you to keep this sort of like high energy. And it wasn't the network pressuring me, but it felt like the people around were like, you you know, you're going to this club. You got you got to be you got to be crazy. You got to be. And so Tell all of a sudden. It. Yeah. So all of a sudden, like a bottle of liquor would be in my room and I'm like, oh, well, I guess we're drinking now. You know, and it's 10 o'clock in the morning or some guy who's producing a segment we'd be on would be like, hey, you want to bump before you go out? And I'm like. Yeah, sure. I, you know, and so you end up getting to this cycle. But what I didn't realize is that as much as it was keeping me up, it was also depressing me and yes. it was making me repress all of the feelings that I had. And I yeah. just was getting sadder and sadder and sadder because I wasn't facing any of the issues that I was having. Well, you don't feel anything. And I've talked about that numerous times. You got to feel it in order to heal it. Yeah. Ooh, you, keep you, ooh, it. you better preach that. You better feel it to heal it. <laughs> Oh, I'm saying I'm spreading that one. I'm giving you full credit. That's a good one. It's what I had to tell myself. But I'm like, you know what? Don't pop that fucking pill. You got to feel this shit. Yes. You feel it to, to heal it. And, and the crazy thing is, is, and you've gone on such a spiritual journey yourself. I'm always amazed by our psyche and why we are so afraid to feel our emotions that we are willing to put them on pause for decades yeah well as sometimes a, lifetimes yeah well as a culture that's what we teach i mean think about it as kids the minute that someone starts crying a little boy starts crying we tell him toughen up man up and then also with women we tell them if you want to be successful you can't show emotions so all the messages our society is telling people is that you need to shut off your emotions to achieve success yep. but it's exactly the opposite of that it's your emotions and all these things you've experienced that are going to make you more successful you and i are walking to testaments of that if we would not have been through those things and been honest about them people would have not seen the transparency that we have and said oh look they're making it and that's why I wrote this book I want to be like listen I've been through it and my the things I've been through even when I talk about addiction I didn't just have an addiction to drugs I realized that my addictive personality was also to the way that I was addicted to food and the way that I was addicted to like porn and like all these other like addictions numbing, yes. numbing myself and I'm like do you have to be able to acknowledge it find the language find the support and I give people those tools so they can get through